Ahoy, mateys! Today we're doing some smuggling on the high seas with Shipshape by Calliope Games. The game is played over the course of three voyages, in which you'll be filling your hold with the smartest combination of cargo you can manage. And it goes like this. Shuffle up the Voyage 1 cards and deal one to each player. Also, shuffle enough crates for each player times three. That's nine in a three-player game for you math-challenged pirates. Every Skellywag also receives a deck of cards numbered 1 through 10. You'll take turns bidding these cards to determine the order in which the crates are distributed. Highest card gets the top crate, and so on in descending order. If there's a tie, resolve the non-tied players first, then the tied players bid again. If you stay tied, use the hold number on your voyage cards. You can flip, twist, and generally align the crates any way you like into your hold. Try to cover up those bloody rats, but try not to cover up a more valuable bit of cargo if you can help it. In the end, only the cargo visible from the top is considered. After all the crates are loaded on your ship, it's time for scoring. Here's the breakdown. Add up all the gold on your ship, minus any remaining rats, and receive that amount in coin. Then, each player adds up their cannon total. The player with the lowest number scores zero, and all other players score their total minus that number. So if Jack only had three and you have ten, you get seven and he gets bunkus. More pirate math. Finally, the contraband. You score the total you successfully smuggled. Unless you have the highest total at the table, then you got busted and score nothing. Also, if you manage to fill every space in your hold with booty, you get a ship bonus of eight coins. Rats are not counted. After this, deal out the next voyage cards and pass them out according to who has the most gold. Then get a new stack of crates and do it all again. This goes to the end of the third voyage, and the winner is they that amasses the most plunder. In the case of a two-player game, you're advised to rig up a third dummy player they've named Captain Happenstance. Shuffle the captain's cards, and when a crate is passed his way, place it on his hold the way it was already facing. In fact, something I've found fascinating is to set up the game with three automated characters and just watch how everything unfolds according to random chance. But it's more fun to play it yourself. Well, that's it, you rascally scoundrels. First to the finish.